What's up, guys? Luke. I'm Ainsley, and this is Mama. Yes, she still hasn't moved, so we're in the same spot for weeks. We've just been sitting in the same spot. So we are continuing down our road of uh, short films on Hulu. This one is called Lippy. Lippy. Wow. So uh, yeah, let's uh, talk about the story, my friend. Um, the story set in England, judging by the accents. Two girls, one of them has a dog. I don't know, well, I do know why that's pertinent. Um, yes. They tie the dog up outside of a shop, go inside a um, shoplift, get caught by the security guard, taken by the security guard in an elevator down to the bowels of hell, I'm assuming. It is a seedy underworld down there. Yeah. Uh, the security guard kind of goes off her rail. She um, goes, I like Lippy too, which was like the lipstick that they were taking. Yeah, and and she, she like puts it all over her mouth. While she's cackling. Yeah. Um, then gets a pair of shears out, like garden shears, except smaller, like maybe hand gardening. Um, Ooh, about the size of a hole punch. And tells them that, um, the price for shoplifting is one of them to cut off their finger and so the girls are left there and one of them says as the lady's leaving she's like she's like but i need to go home and feed me dog he'll starve to death if i don't feed him and the lady turns around and she says always been a cat person you're down in australia Maybe they were from down there, but we don't know. Girls are left there for, it doesn't, an indeterminate amount of time. And then a dog, the sound of a dog yeah, comes over where, there. Well, that's where the dog is parked. She had tied her dog up um, outside. Huh? And um, so they had her dog making sounds. So she was like freaked out that they were going to hurt her dog. So she told the other girl, just go ahead and cut your finger off. Like... <laughs> Like, come on, take one for the team. Um, she says no, like you would. And um, they kind of get in a scuffle. The girl who had the dog um, cut the other girl's finger off. Uh, seemed a little surprised then, like I guess she would do <laughs> if someone cut your finger off. She grabbed the shears and cut, cut. the other girl's finger yeah. off. Then like curtains open up behind them and there's people dressed like clowns including the security guard who now where she had had the lipstick smeared all over her face it was like glitter they said welcome and like they had all had fingers cut off yeah like they were they had to be there now and live there now with, yeah. them, with their fingers cut off and i guess they're going to be these weird sadistic clowns yeah have you ever shoplifted anything? I have not. Me neither. You wanna know why? Why? Because I was always scared that that kind of stuff goes on your permanent record. Is that not like what something like when you're like, if you shoplift something, that goes on your permanent record. Like that's what you would like, you'll never live that down, right? Like, you, like you'll never make anything of yourself in life if you get caught shoplifting, kid. Like, right? <laughs> Were you raised in the 1940s? Like, sit here, kids. <laughs> if we were in that situation, would you cut my finger off? Like, we don't know the alternative of what would have happened if they hadn't cut a finger off. Like, if that girl hadn't been freaked out about her dog, would they have just stayed there forever? Notice I dodged that question. <laughs> you, you I, I was, I was, I was noticeably shook when they put that dog sound on. Like I could not handle, like, like. I mean, something bad was about to go down. I, I thought they were gonna kill the freaking dog. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And so, like, I'm not saying that I would do that, but at the same time, I mean, if little Nom Nom, if her voice was coming over there, I probably would be. <laughs> Sorry, Ainsley. <laughs>
one of the things about these short films is, it's like, obviously you don't, you never really care about the people <laughs> that are in them because it's you don't have enough five time. minutes. Yeah, there's no, there's no character building necessarily. Uh, but I, I, I did in, enjoy this one. Um, and I think I'm actually, I'm going to give this one on our screen counter. I'm going to give this one four screens. I really enjoy this one. I like this. It's probably my favorite one other than the hug that we watched so far. The box was my favorite. Obviously. Um, screen, screen. I would give it three screens. All right. Um, any particular reason, like something you didn't like about it? There wasn't anything particularly that I didn't like about it. Like it had like a more of a dread feeling to the ending than it did like the creepy vibe that the box had. I'm thinking that this person wasn't even really a security guard there. She walks around, acts like she is, and then catches people for the clown colony where they're really nice at after you cut off your finger. We, we've talked enough about this in these short films. Uh, yeah, I, I would say check this out. Um, we'll probably at some point check out some more of these uh, Halloween short films. We would like for you to like, to subscribe, and to share. Um, yes, please. We have been Scream Queen. We appreciate you guys so much, and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.